Hi everyone, this is Tracy from WeCraft at Home and I want to show you today how you can take an image and turn it into an SVG workable to use in the Canvas workspace. So first of all we need to download a small program. Just minimize this. Um, and it's called Inkscape. And it's a free download. So if you click on it, and you can just download it. There's an updated one there. There we go. And you go onto it, and you can just download it, and it's brilliant. If I show you, if you're, I, I'm Windows, so I would click on Windows. I'm 64-bit. I always download in that, so I'm going to do that. It's probably going to say something to me because I've already got it. But uh, this is updated. So so then you download it. It's downloading down here. So it says it's got uh, 10, 9. So it's only a few seconds left. It looks impossible. When you first open it, you're like, what? <laughs> but honestly, it is such a good program. Open when done. Yes, I want to allow that. So for me, I'm updating, but it's the same thing. So all you've got to do is follow the instructions. So next. So you just click next and that means you're agreeing to the license how much space it needs where it's going to go and that will be where you find it in program files inkscape and install now it is a proper graphics program and you can do a hell of a lot more with it but it is one of the programs and it's free that can turn any image into an svg which you can then take into canvas and change whether it's FCM or you want to keep it as an SVG. It can get complicated if the images are more complicated, but I'll show you that. So after waiting and downloading the program, we finally come to this bit. And this is the actual program. Now, I will do some lessons on how to use the program because it's a lot simpler than it looks because it does look so much more difficult than it actually is. Um, so it brings up a 12 by 12 which is what we would work with anyway because that's the mats in the canvas so that's really good. Um, so now we've got this we need to go back here and we're going to go on this program is called Pixabay and it's for free downloads um, you can donate to the um, author of the pictures whatever they are um, I've just put in flower and I've put it under illustration I will say that you can get vector graphics which are SVGs most of the time. Just check when you're doing it that it does say SVG because AI is only for Adobe Illustrator. So it won't work in Inkscape. So anyway, I've done illustrations. I've just put in flower because I thought that was the simplest thing to find. And I found this one. very nice and it's already got its own SVG but I'll tell you what we'll do we'll just download the ping so all you do is click what size don't go too big download the ping and it says there you can donate crediting isn't required but linking back is greatly appreciated just so whoever's done it can get some um, feedback or whatever Okay, so as you can see, down here it has downloaded. 
So now we can go, sorry, now we can go to Inkscape and you can either file import and then you'd need to go to downloads and it will be flower. There we go. This always comes up when you bring something in. You just click OK. Wow, it's big. We'll lock that because we want it to stay the same. OK, I've had to click the magnet and come out as far as it will go. And then click back on the arrow. I've locked the uh, width and height so that it doesn't change that. And I'm just going to start bringing it in. to the right size now I'm just going to change the page size so that's file document properties and I want to change it to Twelve by twelve. Okay, now we've got it. So, so you do path, trace bitmap. When you bring that over here, leave it as it is first. It, I don't think it's going to work because of all the shading, but just first, and you click update. Now that's going to give you the background. Um. I would say there's at least four colours on there. So you could do colours four. Uh, but what I tend to do is greys and do eight scans and update. And there you go. Let's see if we can do it with less scans. Looks like five will be best. OK, and then you click OK. And it will cover the picture. And you need to take away the picture behind. And delete that. And then this one, you do File, Save As. And it will come up in Scape SVG. You put what it is. So it's the rose. Just rose on its own. And no, we don't want that. Rose. Save. And then when you go into here. This is the uh, the more um, intricate part, I would say. So what we need to do is go down and find our rows. Ah. Okay, so it was resized. Now the thing is, I'm just going to back up a minute. There's eight layers, so I'll show you the layers. Oh no, we've done five layers. Now we know we don't want the background. You can remove the background, I forgot. Let me just, sorry, let me just explain that. When you do this, you've got a thing there that you can remove the background. Now if you do that, and then update, it will take the background away for you. So we can take that instantly away because we don't need it. And then it's going to have different layers of each rose. Now it looks to me like the top layer is the actual main outline. And then the rest are going to be 
parts of the same thing. I don't think you need them two. You need one as a back in, so you've got the outside and then you've got the drawer in. Um, so you've got the main drawer in and then you've just got an outline as well. That is just filled in. It doesn't have to be. There's no need for it to be filled in. Oh, wrong one. So that's actually what it looks like. But what someone's done is filled it in for you. Like that. And this one, if you don't want it filled in, and you so that, you know, to you it's just a background. There we go. So that's what it is. And then you can colour that, whether you colour it red with a bit of green on the outside or do the leaf separately. You've got the rose and that's how you do it. And now you just file, export as an FCM file. Tiny parts will be removed. They're talking about these sort of parts. And I'm outside the lines. <laughs> oh dear. There we go. File. Export FCM. Tiny parts will be removed like this bit. And you just put R for rows. And it comes up as an SVG. So take the SVG in the dot and enter. And it will save as an FCM. And it's that simple you just find a picture you want and come into here let's go through it again with something let's find another one so you find whatever you like um i think that might be a bit difficult that one mm, how about this one So click on free download. It has already got an SVG, so we know it's going to work. Uh, we're going to go smaller this time. See, there it's downloaded there. So then we want to minimize that and go into here. Now we're just going to delete that. I'll show you the other way you can bring it in. Is to minimize. There we go. You can pull it out and just put it on there. Okay, there we go. So remember, it's path, trace bitmap. Now, remember, first of all, we're going to see with just one layer how it comes out. So you update. Now, that hasn't come out very well either. So again, I'll show you colors. If you do it in colours and you got, because you can see you've got the green, the dark pink, the light pink and the white. So that's five. If we update that, it will show you all the colours and you can check it. That looks okay. So you can do it like that in the different colours. I prefer to do it in the greys. So we'll try that. Click OK, move that a little bit so that you can delete that one. And then that one you want to file, save as, and it will come up as Inkscape. So we'll put rows 2, and then we'll move over to this one. And we will delete that. And we will go over to rows 2, hopefully. Rows 2. There we go. So you can see the layers. I'm just going to work out which ones we need. I think probably all of them. Let's try this one. 
So that's the main one, as you can see. Then the dark grey would go on top of that. Don't know why they've done two of them. You don't need to, so we can get rid of that one. And this is the main one. So that looks like, to be honest, the only one you need, unless you want to do the shading colour as another cutout. See? Yeah, that's what I would, so we don't need that one either. If you want to use the shading, I would save that one. Let's get these both so that they are on. Tighten them down a little bit. So that's the same thing. Work out what you need. I would say, I would save them too in case you wanted to do a darker colour on top as a kind of shaded colour, make it look more realistic, like the actual picture. And then File, Export. That one's Rose 2. Click. Get rid of that bit. Because you don't want it as an SVG, you want to save this one as an FCM. Well, that's all it will save us. Okay. Well, I hope that was helpful and I will see you again soon with some more tutorials on how to use Canvas. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.